Hello guys, welcome to another episode of the Blender Beginner Tutorial Series. So, I'm sure by now you've learned a lot. You can now confidently model some things around you and just add some basic materials, light it and render it. I didn't see your post on Facebook, on the Facebook group, the Blender HBT Digital Blender Facebook group. Do well to do your artworks and post it there so that we can just review it and make corrections on it if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel as i always say it really adds value to my channel and it gives me the energy to keep creating these tutorials for beginners not only you want to learn the blender 3d so many people want to do it so subscribe share it to your friends all those who want to learn blender 3d and like the video for me thank you so in this tutorial we will look at curves and text as they are all in the same category after you finish with them unless you convert them to mesh so i'll hit a to select all and x to delete what is in, what came in the default scene and i'll just add my screencast key so that you see what i press here so it's just screencast key is just an add-on that enable you to see you see i made the mouse so you can see it now so we are looking at text i'll press n to push in the sidebar we are looking at text so just like any other object shift a to bring in an object and you see we have text here and we have curves here let's look at text first first so you bring in a text just like your normal editor and in blender if you want to edit a text okay so now the text is lying on the x axis horizontally let's rotate it so i'll press r and z and 90 and i'll do that again r y and 90 so now the text is facing us you can hit the period key on your numpad key to zoom in so this is the text it's not a mesh yet so if you want to edit this text you go to edit mode tab to go to edit mode and you see there's a cursor here and now you can just delete and type anything you want so let me type Push caps in and type H H B T D. Since digital is too long, so I will maintain the digit. So this is text, <coughs> and when you come to the edit uh, object mode, you see it doesn't have so many functions. But with the text, when you come to the text property from the object data properties, you see we have its menu here. We have a text you can rename it to anything that you want maybe you have so many texts in the scene and we have resolution preview so this is the resolution number of computed points in the u direction between any pair of control so let me go to edit mode and after we convert it that you will see the resolutions really better you see it's giving it some nice resolution we have the fast editing which we won't talk about it now but later after we go for it we have the full mode this is both so if i fill it to back only or front only that's the place that's only where you see so let's keep it when it is done it just outlines but let's do it both so that you will see it on both sides like if i say front you see it then so let's just keep it to both we have texture space some of these i'll just skip them and as we go forward you learn more about it this is just a brief introduction of the basic text and how it works so we have come to the geometry and with the geometry we have offset extrude and we have taper object we will look at this more in the curve curve properties or curve when we are looking at curves like i said it's almost the same and we have bevel so with bevel let's with uh, the geometry let's increase the extrude and you see it has it is giving it some thickness you see we have some thickness to the text now and this is the offset you see how it's working 
and with, like I said, the taper objects and the bevel objects, we will look at them when we go to the curve mode. Guys, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe for me. It really, really means a lot to me. And those who have subscribed already, thank you. And share it to your friends so that they can also benefit. Thank you. So, moving on, let's come to fonts. Since it's a major part of text formatting, we have regular. You know, like if you want to change this particular font, you can just click here and choose any one that you want. And by default, I think this this should be Arial or something. But you can come here and just change the text that you want. Choose any text that you want, and you see it took effect. So that is the text formatting, and we have transform. So this is the size to increase or decrease the text size. You can also do the same thing in edit mode. And now we are doing it in object mode, but it's equal. And you can hit A and S is the same thing. That is in edit object mode. So that is the size. And so follow along as we do it, you understand it better. And we have the shear, so you see how the shear is more like an italics. It just pushes the text to some particular side. You can choose object font, or you can add a curve. But we'll talk about curve later, so that the object, the text will move around the curve. We have underline position, underline thickness. You can just experiment with all of this, so that. You will know more. So, uh -huh. and we have another thing. We have character spacing and word spacing, line spacing. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm showing you the major things that you need to know right now. And later, as we go forward along the tutorials, you will learn, you will go much deeper. So, stick with me here. So, like character spacing, as it's saying, it will just space the characters, you see. And we have word spacing. It will just space the words and line spacing but we have only one line here so you won't see that effect and these are the offset to just control the directions and we have text box you can add text box just like your any editing software or word editing software you can just add a text box and type your informations in let's see what's in the custom properties or let's you add something so basically this is text this is text for you so with this text here, after you are done with this text, even though you can add color, you can add some materials. When you come to the material properties, you can just add some materials. Let's switch the material preview and see. Even though you can do that, but you can't add textures unless you convert this into text into mesh so that you can use it well or you can edit some of this text. So with this, I'll just, if you want to convert this, you right click and you see we have convert to mesh or you can come to object and pardon me i'm used to the keyboard shortcut so uh -huh, we have the convert to here we have curve mesh or grease pencil so we want to convert this to mesh see if you are in edit mode we can edit it as you can see d i g i but the moment we convert it it big it bakes it and makes it one object so i'll right click and convert to mesh and now that it's mesh let's see in edit mode you see we've lost our kezada our ability to edit it with the keza and now this is what we have and you see it's pretty dense it's pretty pretty it, we, we have 6508 vertices and 11,000 edges and 4,000 faces. It's really then So, with this one, what you can do is you can select all and X like you are deleting it, and you can choose limited dissolve. You see, and it reduces some of the faces and the vertices. We have 736 faces now. We have uh, 400, 405. We have 300, 3,277 edges now. H letter H yes and that's all and come to the test properties and I can just increase the size let me extrude it a bit so I'll just 
let's treat it so that we have some geometries extrusions you can work with this one yes i think this is okay so aha uh -huh. the bevel with the bevel you see we have round so if i increase the depth you see check the the edges of the letter h and let's add the bevel you see as you add it now it's giving it some some bevel around the edges and we talked about bevel in the earlier tutorial so if you miss that you should really go and check it out so that you understand the bevel really well and i can increase the resolution of the bevel you see it's added some nice bevel around that thing i can just increase it no this is animation i can just increase it then. this is the bevel so let me just keep it like this good now let's tap into edit mode and you see i can add it but i want to convert it to mesh so i'll just right click and convert to mesh and after i convert to mesh we add tab into edit mode you see we have some weird faces and geometries and with the bevels here and all of that so we can like you see we have to wait it we can manage with this one though but if you really if you want to change the number of faces and reduce the number of faces and vertices and edges on the object like i said you can hit x and press limited dissolve so that you remove some unwanted faces that are not really doing anything to the object and you see it's really nice now that it's really nice and it's not that many again so this is text and i uh, i brought back my letter h so i'll just increase it to h b t and just maintain this one and you see i added some bevel so it's having these smooth edges and not that very too sharp edges so this is my hbt so this is how you add text and like i said with the basic colors you can just come here and add color and just if you go to the material preview you see the color that you have here so this is how to add text and how to format text and after we are done with the text let me just push it somewhere let me enable my gizmo keys and just push it somewhere and let's look at curves so shift a like any other object and bring the curve we have the bezier curve we talk more of on bezier curve and the circle and the path we will leave this for now so with the bezier curves it gives you an irregular shape curve and with curves it's it's it, it's let me say curves are geometries that you can organic geometries that you can just work with and when you do you can't achieve something with just the mesh model you can just do it with curves and later convert it to mesh like a snake or some path that you can't really get get away with meshes so when i tap into edit mode you see we have this lines control and we have this point so these are curves so let me just go back to object mode rotate this on the wires this r y and 90 and let me rotate it on the z axis again r z 90 yes so now i can see it better so this is a curve and when you tap into edit mode you see we have points and this point just like any normal mesh or object in in edit mode you can extrude and you can scale and rotate and you see you can rotate you can scale and you can extrude so i'll just control it to cancel that extrusion so i'll select and let's work let me hit one for the front photographic and see it better so with this let's let's say i want to extrude this part so if i extrude, you see it is curved so unless i rotate it you see how we are doing now and this place you can just scale it in let me hit this point and just rotate this point yes let me rotate it like this so i'll just e to extrude again and r to rotate it again i'll just e to extrude 
So th these are curves, the basic introduction of curves. And I'll show you as we go forward. We'll use it to model a lot of things that we can use the object or mesh modeling to achieve. And later you can just convert it. So let me just rotate this. E again. Let me just rotate it. Let me press E. How to rotate. E again. How to rotate it and smoothen it a bit. Just add this. Let me leave this one here and this. Let me add it so I just scale it inside a bit and just get this. So we have something like a hat or a love shape. I can just smooth it by rotating this place. You can scale this one in so that we get this smooth fall off. We can do the same thing here. We can just rotate it and scale it in a bit. You see it's becoming smooth now. You can just between here and here you can just shift select right click and just subdivide this plane so that you can just push this one inside like this or bring it upwards a bit like this and rotate this one let me scale this one a little push it back no not extrude control z to cancel oh not extrude g to grab and just push it upward and you see we have this nice curve after we edited it we can do the same thing here we can just r and s to just rotate scale it a bit you can grab this with g and just bring it here you can press r come here and bring this one down a bit s to scale it and r to rotate it and you see you get the idea right how to rotate it you get the idea let me just scale it in a bit you see we almost have the shape like a lab so with time just like i edited this place you can do the same thing here and after you have this you see this is not having any geometry if you render this you won't see anything just like the text so you can come to the object data properties and you see we have similar settings like the text like i said it's almost the same thing so this one we have the render preview but let me first add some thickness so in the text effect we added the extrude so let's extrude it and oh oops not extrude let's bevel let's bevel yes to add thickness so you see we have some thickness to the text now we will join this place later we will talk about it later you see we have some extrusion now and now we can just add some resolutions or just reduce it you see the resolution preview you can just increase it but normally 12 is okay and let me let me open this part again so we can just edit it whilst this Extrusion is on it, so let me just move this one aside. Uh, let me move this one rather G and X. Let me move this on the X axis so that you can see what's going on really well. So you see, this is like a round object, and when I come to the full mode, we can choose half, and you see the object is cut, cut into half, it's no more full. So that is the full mode. Let's put it back to full. And let's look at the texture. No, we won't look at the texture space, but with the geometry, with the taper object, it's more like let's add another curve. Shift A. And no, let's go back to object mode. Shift A and let's add a curve. Let's add a circle. I just push this one here tab into edit mode and edit this circle a bit so i'll just push this one inside and push this one to inside so we have something like this okay and let's name this circle we will name it we will, okay it's it's busy circle but 
yes let's leave it at the bezier circle okay so let's come back to the this uh, object and let's go to the curve properties so with the bevel you see we have we added some bevel to it and we can choose object and when we choose object to it will require blender will require us to choose the object we want to bevel with so i'll just click here and select the bezier circle and you see it's really huge but it's mimicking that particular object so i'll just go to edit mode come here and just scale this one down you see how it's working now and now if we come to this object and look at you see it's 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 just like this object look at the tapered mouth let me go to the object let me add some material to it so that you can see it better good so you see aha uh -huh. it's looking like just like the object that we did so that's the bevel the bevel object yes so we've covered that one too so the bevel object we chose with the bevel we chose an object and we did it and you see this place is is empty you can choose fill cups and it is filled now so that's that one too so the rest we we'll look at it this is part animation that we can look at it to draw part after we add some curve modifier follow we add some constraint to it you can use this part modifier we will talk about it more later and with the taper object to you let's it let's do it later but you let me add an object and let me add a curve shift a and let me add this curve just this normal okay let me add a path to demonstrate part you see part is just a straight line unlike the bezier curve that it was irregular part is just a straight line but you can just edit it and let me see j grab to this remember this is the part these are only guidelines so e you see let me do something like this uh -huh. so we have this part object we have next part okay so let's go back to this object uh, curve properties and choose the taper object and choose next path you see that it's it's tapers here so that is basically and you can just offset it and however you want it so that is that is uh, the, the next part for you you can also come here and increase the size you see you can just edit it whilst it's in session and just change the i mean position or where the pass is taking place you can do the same thing here too and see you can just or uh, yes so basically that's the tepid we will look at practical way more that's why i said as we go forward and the more we practice with other objects you learn these tools intuitively but as when i'm demonstrating like this it's just a brief it's just a brief introduction to the object so that is sketch and text for you and after you have some geometry you can render it i'll just disable this this part next part and just bring back my mesh so you see it's still a mesh that you can edit the point you see but after you convert it just like the text we have convert to mesh you can no longer edit that and now it is it is a mesh with faces and edges and just vertices let me choose faces and you see this is what you have now yes so basically this this is the brief introduction of path and and text i will end the tutorial here and guys like i say please i really want to do this and i want to do this full time but if i can do it full time unless you support me so please if you've come with me this far please stay with me and share it to your friends so that they can also come to my new channel as i'm trying to make to i'm trying to teach people what i've learned from my years of experience in blender you see so that we move forward we grow all together and we can all come up with outstanding and very beautiful renders and art that you can get i mean some passive passive income or 
people will praise us for it. I mean, and we can even get our own immediate gratification. Yes. So please subscribe and just share it to your friends for me. And share it on Facebook. Share it everywhere to people that are interested. Thanks very much for sticking with me here. And I'm out.